Wicked. Whoa, Wicked. Whoa, Wicked. Whoa, Wicked. Whoa, Wicked. off to Lumio City after restoring the power to the gym. Hopefully grabbing that oh so sexy fifth gym badge of our adventure. But before we go ahead and do that, let's take a look at the working and twerking. Grand and montage results because we are looking real good. My anaconda want, my anaconda want, my anaconda want some Poopitar because Poopitar is now level 32. This little bastard evolved in the previous episode when we were taken on Team Flare in the Kalos Power Plant. Anyway, 32 taught the guy Rock Smash because we needed to get past some rocks to grab any uh, TM and a couple of items. Next up, we've got Infernape, level 38. We have got Gardevoir, level 36. We've got Haunter, little boob grabber himself. Boob grabber, Haunter, Rick Gasly, level 42. We've got Dragonair, level 38. Absolutely fantastic. And finally, we have got... Magnezone. It actually surprised me when Magneton went up a level and started evolving. I was like, holy shit, this is absolutely perfect. I love it. Look at those stats. That defense, that special attack is absolutely fine. And that speed. Just cast your beautiful eye across that speed level. Oh, 69 is absolutely fantastic. Anyway, that is the party. We're looking pretty damn good. Not too overleveled, not too underleveled. And uh, we've encountered a one hell of a tall specimen. Let's look up at him. Look at this guy. The Pokemon, the flower Pokemon, the Pokemon that was given eternal life. Mm, eternal life means eternal sexing! Fantastic. Anyway, that's the first time we get to meet AZ, the mysterious character of, uh, of Pokemon X and Y. A man that is 3,000 years in the making. Anyway, let's get into Lumio City. Sweet cheeks! I wonder who this could be. Uh, look at this. I ran after you like crazy when I spotted you up ahead. No, what? I heard power. The power's back on here in Luio City. Some really bad people were stealing electricity from the Kalos power plant. And then somebody came. I stopped him. No one knows who, but they must be awesome. Who do you think it was? Oh, who knows? I guess it's someone else. Someone else out there as strong as you, sweet cheeks. And get this! They're gonna light the tower. Let's go see it, sweet cheeks. It's Louisville City's most famous sight. Oh, look at that Eiffel Tower. This way, it's straight ahead and you'll run smack into the prison tower. Okay, fantastic, but... Yeah. Uh, hey, where are you going? Let's go see the prison tower. All right, you fussy bitch. Let's go then. Fucking hell, I wanted to go do some shopping first. Look at this guy. Um, we've got the square here, Magenta Plaza, with some secret... Oh, look at that guy over there. Let's go see him. I'm sorry, there's a plaque out. You can't go out any further until it's fixed. Well, there's a motherfucker over there! Look at this guy! Look at this guy, how depressed is he over there? He's like, I can't get past him. There's a blackout and I can't get past. He's really, really, this guy's really angry, but mate, mate, look behind you, there's a fucker over there, how's he allowed past you? Is he checking out your booty? Is that what's happening? Is he checking out your bum bum? Anyway, let's go in here real quick, heal up our Pokemon, because during the working and twerking grinding montage, I kept getting jumped by bloody trap inches. Uh, I hate that route because you can't use any uh, repels, uh, which is a little bit annoying, which actually reminds me quickly, 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 let's go turn the XP share off before we go into the, the into the gym because we don't want to be getting that experience um, all around. We want to turn that off. We want to try and get Pooptar up some more levels to be at a decent stage. It would be fantastic if we got to learn a ground move for Pooptar. 
but unfortunately, I don't know what levels. I should have checked that out beforehand. I did have it written down on my bit of paper somewhere, along with today's question of the day, which we'll get onto very, very shortly, but we got some more characters to go over. Good timing! They're about to turn on the lights! Look, it's Clermont! He's Lumio City's gym leader! He's also good at inventing things, and he makes all kinds of sexual devices, like dildos and stuff. Those two are my friends! The two dildos. One double-ended one and one ten-inch one. They're really good. Aren't you done yet? Why does she sound like an old woman? Not quite! I just have to check the lighting circuit here. Hmm. This is me pushing my glasses. Oh, Shauna! Are you a challenger? Sorry, but could you wait a moment? Come on, Clement! Alright, everything's ready. The future is now, thanks to science. Prism Tower Lighting System, masturbate! I am re Oh, I am getting turned on like I've never been turned on before! Lumio City's phallic symbol has lit and risen up to the heights that it once was. We're ready to go and take on that gym. I am good. I'm ready for this. I think you call this feeling being entranced, right? Now, I have another great memory with you, sweet cheeks. Excellent! My prism tower lighting system worked brilliantly, just like all my inventions. Yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> they the there are challenges waiting for you, you know. Prism Tower itself is Lumio City's Pokemon Gym. Well, thank you for that. Clement's inventions sure are amazing, right? He gave me one that solves puzzles, but it always feels like a shame to use it. So I haven't yet. Okay, good luck with the gym. And remember what I just said. It's going to come in handy later on. Wink, sweet cheeks. Anyway, let's just jump straight into the gym. There's no point pissing about because we want to go take on Clement's ass. And, uh, kick it. At the same time. Okay, so little electric Pokemon, lightning Pokemon, they are weak to the ground typing. Now, I don't even know if we've got any ground moves on our Pokemon. I should have checked this beforehand as we come into the game show. Ah! You're the trainer from before! Come straight for a battle, have you? Well, good! You can call me Bo Bonnie? Bonnie? That, that crazed rabbit from Five Nights at Freddy's? I don't want... Oh, I'm the gym leader's younger sister, not a fucking rabbit, you shit. So, go ahead, step onto the small square a few steps directly ahead of you, would you? You will have to answer my questions if you want to get any farther ahead. Okay, well, I will go ahead and do that in just a second. In just a sweet second, because I want to go check out our TMs to see if we actually have any ground-type moves. Do we have any ground? Do we have any ground? Do we have any ground? I don't think we bloody well do. Was that a ground? Did I see a ground? No, I saw two rocks. Fuck. Um, I'm gonna go and ha have, a, have a look at our Pokemon. I don't think we have any ground type moves at all. So, we probably, we probably, we got rock, no ground, no ground, no ground. There is absolutely no ground type moves. So we're probably just gonna use Pupitar to start with, with the Lucky Egg, to try and get as much experience as possible. If we have to switch, we have to switch, but I don't think these guys are gonna be too much of an issue. Quiz time. Who's that Pokemon? Emolga? Did Denian? Pikachu? Talk to the trainer who's the same number as the right answer. Okay. Oh. 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 I, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, quiz time. Oh. Pikachu. Pikachu. Who's that Pokemon? Emolga? Did Denian? Pikachu. It's Pikachu. It's number three. I swear it's number three. It's number three. You've chosen Pikachu. Yes, motherfucker. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. Let's go. compare answers. I just want to. It's a shame it isn't like that gym uh, in the first generation with Blaine, is it? The seventh gym? When you had all the quizzes and shit. I don't know anyway. We got Dedanian, uh, Pupitar. We are lower level than this guy. Let's go for. Let's go for the rock slide because that's going to be stab a damn. Why are you going for snore? Why you go for snore, you stupid fuck? Um, anyway, we didn't do anywhere near as much damage as I wanted to, but he's giving us a free shot by going for snore, and you're going for rest. What is this? What is this madness? Oh, man. You guys seem to be complaining that we're using a lot of the same Pokemon over and over again. Well, 
kind of got rid of I kind of got rid of Granville because of that. So we're going to be using we're going to be at slightly under level for this gym just now. But he's going to start using Snore now. If he doesn't try start using Snore now, he's going to be an absolute idiot. Surely you're going to use Snore. There we go. There we go. We, we should be able to eat that up though from a dead end. Yeah, it's not very effective, man. It's not very effective. Anyway, let's go to this question of the day. As always, the question of the day is submitted by you, sexy beasts out there. So. Today's question of the day is by Lego Ezra Man X. So thank you very much, Lego Ezra Man X. So to his question, I presume it's him, he says, Man, uh, what do you want as your starter in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Basically, who am I picking in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire now? I've thought long and hard about this. We've already seen Mega Torchic, well, Mega Blaziken. We've already seen Mega Blaziken plenty of times because we got that free item. In uh, Pokemon X and Y, so I'm going to be picking Mudkip. One Mudkip is my favorite of the three anyway, but I just want to see Mega. Mega Swamper is so damn big. He's been hitting the gym. He's been hitting the gym and he looks absolutely monstrous. He is going to have Swift Swim as well. I love, I don't know, if you guys have been watching the battles for the New Age Battle League, you know how much I love Swift Swim. I absolutely love it. And Swamper, Mega Swamper is going to be an absolute monster. He's just going to tear shit up. He's going to make the meta game absolutely switch back to weather users. Honestly, I think he's going to be that powerful. Anyway, <gasps> I didn't buy any fucking potions. I didn't buy any fucking potions. Well, ain't that about a bitch. Let's get out of here. Would you like to go to the, the first floor? Thank you very much. We need to go and buy potions. So, I'm just going to cut it here and we're going to skip ahead. See you in a sec. Okay, we're back. I've been shopping. I've got all the items that we need to have. I bought super potions and hyper potions and healed up our Pokemon. Silly me. I can't believe I didn't get them beforehand. Especially since we went to the Pokemon Center. Who's that Pokemon? It's Fletchley. So let's go to number one and battle this, uh, this beautiful female. Oh, yes. Let's get down and dirty. But yes, it wasn't even choosing between Torchic. Back up to the question of the day, by the way. Choosing between Torchic, Mudkip, and Treacle was just a no-brainer for me. Yes, Sceptile isn't too bad. Sceptile is quite a cool Pokemon, as is as is a few of the other ones. Um, as as is uh, let's whip up a Sandstorm. Let's whip up a Sandstorm. Make shit make shit a little bit more difficult for that Raichu. Um. I, I like Sceptile, I like Blaziken, but I love Swampert. Swampert was always my favorite of the three. It was one that I would always choose when I when I played uh, Pokemon Ruby, which in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, check this out, check this out. There, there, look what I found the other day. My original Pokemon Ruby version cartridge. I found that along with uh, red, yellow, and blue. And uh, I was just like, yes, this is absolutely perfect timing for me to find that because it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And... I can't wait for the new games. I cannot wait. So it's definitely going to be Mudkip just for the Swampert. Mega Swampert is going to kick ass. I hope we get the Mega Stone really quite near the start so I can just start Mega um, evolving that bastard as soon as possible. And I am definitely... When are we going to be playing through the game on the channel? I'm, go I'm, going, to be, I'm going to be building the rain team as we go. Well... Actually, it all depends. It all depends what we're doing. If we're, we're probably going to be doing a Wonderlock or a Nuzlocke to, to, to start. If we do a Nuzlocke, then obviously Mudkip is going to be um, it's going to be there and going to be absolutely fine. But if we're doing a Wonderlock of it, it all depends. Hopefully, because I'll be getting the game a week later, which absolutely sucks. Ah, yes. But at the same time, a lot of people would have started breeding by then, so we might get some Mudkips ourselves anyways. People try and breed the perfect Mudkip for the Mega Swampert. But who knows? Who knows? Four thousand experience. That is all. Oh, that is juicy. Give us a give us a, a ground move. Dark pulse. Okay, that's not going to be good because that's a special move. So no, thank you. We've already got bite. And um, dark pulse does flinch though, doesn't it? But I suppose bite does as well. So it don't really matter, does it? Don't really matter. Pupitar is going to be absolutely fantastic for this gym until. I think the gym leader has grass not on one of his Pokemon, so we need to be wary of that. We don't want to be messing about. So yes, guys, in the comment section below, let me know what starter you're going to be picking and why. Thank you very much, Lego, Lego Ezra Man X. What a powerful name. What a powerful name. I don't know if that's in reference to something, but it's pretty damn powerful. Anyway, we're uh, up here again. Let's go. We could do with a quick a super potion. Not a hyper potion, a super potion on Pupitar. Uh, our Pokemon levels are pretty even now, pretty even now, especially because we're using Pupitar in this, uh, in the gym here, getting all the levels up that we can possibly get. So that is a Panpour. Is that a Panpour? It looks like Panpour. 
No, I think that's Pan Poor, but the clover on his tail, I'll have to have a look. Hold on. No, I think it's Pan Sage. I think it's Pan Sage. Hold on. Hold on. Quiz time. Yes, 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 yes. It looks like poor, but that looks like a clover on its tail. I'm going to go Pan Sage. Pan Sage, Pan Sage, Pan Sage, Pan Sage. It's got to be Pan Sage. I might be completely wrong, though. Uh, who knows? Who knows? I hate those little monkey Pokemon. Look at them trying to be starters. Wanna be starter monkeys. Lantern, A. Eh? That's not good for Pupitar. That is not good for Pupitar. Okay, Lantern is probably going to go for a water move. Who can eat up a water move? Dragonair can eat up water and lightning attacks. So, we're going to bring in Dragonair. I don't know why I keep saying lightning. It's electric. Oh, I've, just what I used to say as a kid, to be honest. Bubble Beam, there we go. We're going to eat up, no problem at all. And we're probably best to go for some Dragon Dances here. Yeah, let's go for one dragon dance and then we should be able to dragon tail this shit out of it and one hit KO If not, then we can go for an extreme speed and finish it off as long as he doesn't start trying to uh, Paralyze us, but we're gonna eat that up all day. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all dragon air coming through I can't wait to get a dragon eye. Oh Oh dragon eye still needs a mega. Why isn't a mega yet? Unless um, I'm recording this when am I recording this? I'm recording this the Thursday of the uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire live stream. You know, the seven hour um, beast. Wow, Dragonair ate that up. Uh, Lantern ate that up. Um, the seven hour marathon as they're playing through um, Ruby. When they get to certain parts of the game, they are showing footage from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So, it's going to be really interesting to see what they reveal. Apparently, there's a big reveal at four o'clock UK time. So... I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to be at work at the time, unfortunately, but hopefully, hopefully it's going to be something really good. Hopefully they confirm Mega Flygon because it really needs to happen. I really want Mega Flygon to happen. I really think it is going to happen. Damn it. Just give us Mega Flygon. Just give us Mega Flygon. Do you know how many people will be happy in their pants? Loads of people. Loads of people will be happy in their pants. So, um, step into the elevator. I'm, I'm, I am I'm, think I'm right. I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Be right, be right, be right, be right, bitch. Oh, fuck. It was Pampor. <laughs> that's extra experience, anyway. Um, that's extra experience, anyway. So. Damn it, you guys were probably like, Raz, that's completely the wrong tour. Why are you doing that? You got it right the first time. Go be your first instinct. It was Pampor. No, it's definitely not Panseer. It's Pampor. Give me that. Give me the eight well, extra experience, I suppose. Extra experience. And we do need Pupitar to go up the levels, especially um, because he's still a little bit little bit behind. There we go. Ampharos. Ampharos. Woo -do 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 -do. Is Power Gem gonna fuck us up? I cannot remember. Anyway, let's let's start off by Let's just go straight for the rock slide. If we can get the rock slide off, hopefully we'll be able to take off at least half health. Ooh, that was a crit as well. Power Gem. Don't, 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 don't. I think Power Gem's going to be... Oh, okay, that's not very effective. That is fine. That is absolutely fine. So, we should be fine against this guy here. He's going to keep using Power Gem on us. I don't... Oh, wow. Oh, Ampharos. No, Ampharos. Don't you be doing this shit. Don't you be doing this shit to me. Don't you be confusing me. I hate the confusion tactic. But if you haven't seen the New Age Battle League battles yet and you're interested in battling, go and check them out. We are the Minnesota Jinx. That's our team name. And we're doing pretty damn well so far. So make sure you go and check that out. We've got... I'm not going to tell you the results yet, but we are doing well. We are doing really well. So come come show your support for our, our battle team as well. I know I don't do a lot of battles on the channel, but now we've got the Wonder Cup battles on uh, Sundays, which is against you guys. And we've also got the New Age Battle... Uh, a battle league starting um we've done two battles already they're gonna be up on fridays we're gonna have plenty of battles on the channel from now on anyway so it's gonna be good oh four thousand experience i'll take that pupe up to level 36. you are gonna be a monster when you evolve into tyranitar i cannot wait i cannot wait i i'm a big fan of pokemon that look like dinosaurs there they really get my jivalets going and really nice and warm this is gotta be it right Yeah, we got it wrong the first time, and the second time we got it right. We get that extra 4,000 experience anyway, because we need as much experience as possible. That's, you can't tell me that my logic wasn't right, though. It did look like it had a clover on its tail, but obviously I was completely bloody wrong. 
so let's go for the hyper potion real quick up to poop -tar. and then uh we should is this the last one i think it's the last one before we head up and take on the gym leader quiz time that is a butterfree that is a vivian vivian and that's a mothim so which one is vivian number two is vivian Come to me, sweet Vivian! Seriously? Like, you pick number two? I always pick number two over number one and number three. I don't know what number three is. Is that shitting, pissing, and coming at the same time? Oh, look at that sweet little folk. Look at that sweet little fucker. He's gonna do absolutely shit all to me because we're gonna absolutely destroy him with a rock slide! Copycat? Don't you be copying me, you little shit. Los all in mining. Oh, wow. Wow, you, you really want to hold on. You really want to hold on. Oh, Liddy! Liddy, girl, why are you doing this to me? Finish it off. Finish it off with the bite. Finish it off. Bite this boink. Oh, come on. There we go. This plus will... You may be cute, little man. You may be cute, but you got to take off like three HP off us. Wow, you took off nine. Nine. Finish it off. Nine. This is Nick so good, yeah. Okay, Pupitar, getting some decent experience, and we are ready to rock and roll. I think we're ready to dig on the gym leader now, Clement, which is going to be fine. Hopefully, we should be able to just steamroll through him. Um, I'm just trying to think who the best Pokemon would be to use, because we could set up a Sandstorm, but as I said, one of those Pokemon do have, does have Grass Knot, so we, we can't be messing about with Grass Knot there, so... Here we are, we've got Clem on here. Let's heal up our Pupitar real quick. Uh, is there any point? Yeah, may as well, may as well go in there with full health. Have we got any elixir out of that? No, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. That's fine, no, that's absolutely fine. So we're going to lead off with Pupitar. Um, who's going to be a good choice to come in? Probably either Magnazone or Have Fun or Dragonair. Maybe even Gardevoir. Our team's alright against electric Pokemon, actually. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Mm. Oh, thank you again for coming. Allow me to introduce myself. Hey, this is leader of Lumio City, Clemon! You better watch out, my brother's strong! As, as strong as you'd expect a Lumio's gym leader to be, got it? Hmm. Bonnie, how many fucking times do I have to remind you? It's not my own strength that matters, nor the other trainers. None of us would be here if it weren't for our Pokemon. I know, I know! Anyway, I hope you two have an awesome battle. Little fuck buttoning. She's right about that, at least. Let's do our best in battle. Whoa, whoa, this fancy motherfucker. I tell you what, they're getting a lot fancier with their, with their graphics, with everything. And um, I don't know if you've I've seen much footage of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but the difference in graphics is incredible already. I cannot wait to play it. Oh! Oh! It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Let's set up a, a Darude Sandstorm. Aerial Ace, eh? And go for it. You can aerial ace me all day long. I'm going to be setting up a sandstorm, bitch. Eat that, Emolga, you little flying rat. Emolga, the flying rat Pokemon, can suck a cock. Okay, Emolga. Look at his face. Let's go for the rock slide. Hopefully, we can hit the Emolga. Aerial ace, eh? Aerial ace, eh? If we can just use Pupitar to take out the Emolga, then we should be absolutely fine to take on the rest of his Pokemon with somebody else. One shot it. Thank you very much. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. We'll take that experience and go up to level 37 with Pupitar. That is absolutely fan fucking fantastic. I like that. I like that a lot. Heliolisk. Now, Heliolisk, who again kind of reminds me of a Dilophosaurus, is the one, is the, is the Pokemon we need to watch out for because of that grass knot. So let's quickly switch into our Magnezone real quick. Now that he's evolved, let's use him for the very first time in battle. And Magnuson should be able to take out the Helio list. There we go, the grass knot. Um, that would have uh, that probably would have one shot our Pupitar because I think Pupitar's four times weak to grass. I'm not 100 percent but I'm pretty sure that that's the case. And our leftover should heal us up to a decent position with Magnuson going back to 100 HP. Not bad. Okay, let's go for the flash cannon on Helio list, and that should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Look at that, that's what I mean, that's what what, what reminds me of, um, 
it being a Dilophosaurus when it thins out the, the things. Not very effective, but we took off half of its health along with the Sandstorm. We should be able to finish it off with another Flash Cannon, and then we will be all good. What are Heliolisk's abilities? Why Heliolisk is part normal? It's part normal, and it is um, normal electric, and its abilities are dry skin is one. Dry skin is one. I can't remember what his other one is. Does he have lightning rod or something like that? I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, don't matter, because he's gone anyway. Don't matter. The, the sandstorm has subdued. Okay, so who is the final one? I can't remember. It's not a Raichu, is it? I don't think it's a Raichu. Magneton. Okay. You want to send out a Magneton versus a Magneton. Uh, Magnezone. Big Papa Magnezone over hey uh, Let's go for the Electro Ball. I just want to see how much damage it does. If it takes off about half, then we should be in a, a good position to finish it off. Mm. T-Bolt on us. We should be able to eat that up. We really need T-Bolt on our guy. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to finish off this guy with our Magnezone because I... We could one-shot. We could one-shot it. We could one-shot it if we brought in our uh, Infernape. But I don't really want to bring Infernape into this one just now because Infernape will one-shot and I'm not, I'm not interested in that. Let's just let's just confuse the shit out of this guy and then finish it off with uh, some Electro Ball. We should be able to get the, the Magneton. Magnezone is an absolute monster. See, when I first found out that Mag Magneton could evolve into a Magnezone, I was like, that is baller. That is absolutely fantastic. I love Magnemite and uh, Magneton. I think they're fantastic Pokemon. Mixing that into an evolution. Hurt yourself in confusion. Hurt yourself in confusion. Hurt yourself in the go. Oh, yes. Oh, the confusion. Claymore must be like hacks. Why are there so much hacks? And I laugh at you. I laugh in your face, Claymore. Oh. Maybe I don't laugh in your face. Come on. I should have known he was going to have a hyper potion there and just switched out. Damn. Damn. Oh, we took off a lot of HP there. Why did we take off so much that time? We must have got max damage. Anyway, he should still be confused. So if we go for the Electro Ball and we get max damage again, that should be able to finish him off. Can we finish him off? 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 Hurt yourself in confusion. You're probably going to snap out. Hurt yourself in confusion. Hurt yourself in confusion. Hurt yourself in confusion. Ha <laughs> ha, the hacks. We won with hacks. That is brilliant. That is absolutely fantastic. But there we go, guys. We still have not touched wood. Lost a single Pokemon in this journey. And that's the fifth also oh sexy gym badge of our Pokemon Kalos League Adventure. Yo, your passion for battle inspires me deep down in my nether regions. <laughs> my, 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 my brother. You, you lost. Oh, Bonnie, when will you learn? There's no such, no shame in losing. Yeah, there is. You suck, man. I'm glad whether, I, whenever I get to learn something new, thanks to strong characters like this girl over here. Not only is she cute. Now, to the victor goes the spoils. This voltage badge belongs to you. Mmm. Mmm. Take that badge and ram it right up your badge case. If you have the Voltage Badge, you will be seen as a friend and equal by Pokemon up to level 70. And here, take this TM as well. Oh, I know, I know this one. Oh, it's the other girl. Oh, I know, I know this one. It's TM24, that's Thunderbolt. It has a power of 90 and an accuracy of 100%. It'll never miss. It's a really popular electric move because of that. Thank you very much. We'll be able to finally power up our Magnezone instead of Electro Ball. Our body, you... You son of a bitch! The future is now! Thanks to science! Behold the machine that gives technical machines. What? Look, I'm not... It's not like I'm trying to make myself stronger or... Ah, fuck it! All I'm trying to do is enjoy every day to my fullest with my Pokemon while doing the science that I love... With my inventing. Okay, guys, so there we go. We managed to get yet another badge without losing any single Pokemon, which is absolutely fantastic. We've still got one more wonder trade to do from back on the route before. I can't remember what the route is called, but we're going to save that for another episode because we're already stretching the episodes on quite long here. But either way, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, then please hit that like button. And remember to answer the question of the day in the comment section below. And if you have a question for next time, 
you know the drill. But either way, guys, I've been Rasbowski. You've been the beautiful bastards, as always, for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!